and the number of it, some leaf plot, and a pistol brand. If you remember a stem and leaf plot, let's toss down some numbers here. Um, gosh, I wish I had something. Uh, you know what? Sure. Give me uh, give me your shoe size as best you know. Don't give me this whole voice code. Tell me what size shoe. To the best of your knowledge, it is as we go around the room, starting in the back row. Say hi. Hi. Oh no, I can't use that. Do we have halves in there? Here's a straight seven. Seven point five. Uh, <laughs> Austin? What? Nine point five. Nine point five. I'll go this way, but I can't do that because when I have half, I can't do that. What else can I do? What can I ask you? Can you do seven? Eight. Eight. How high you are? How tall Eight, you are? Eight, you're all going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about height? height? Yes, but I need your height in inches, not in feet inches. Uh, so just oh. add, if you're five feet, add 60 to your number of inches. What? You should, okay. No, that still doesn't work because I need people that aren't that. Wait, you're, is anybody? Wait, next. I'm less than five feet. Yes, I call it, which is not a number. All right. <laughs> just write these numbers down. We'll just do half of these. 70, 83, 84. I should do your grades. This is about what your grades are. 66. 66. This is temperature. Sixty-six, seventy-one. 75, 76, <laughs> 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 Is it 28 or 28? Turn the book, just look at page uh, 406 if you like. Why you write it down then? Just look in your book if you have a question on what the number is. Look in the book if you have a question on what the number is. I see you're wrong with that. This is only for, this is only for example sake. Give you a chance to get those down. <laughs> 406. Okay, the deal with the stem and leaf plot is basically this, okay? You've got a line separating um, the stem and the leaf. This is the stem. This is the leaf. And the one thing to remember is that the leaf is simply the last digit. The stem is anything that can come before it. It doesn't have to be just a single digit. You could, it could be, it could be two digits. It could be whatever, but it comes before the leaf. Okay. And it could be as many digits as possible. Basically, what it's going to be breaking it down. In the case that we're doing here, it's going to break it down into its tens. In other words, this. Uh, if you look at the range of numbers, it looks like we have anywhere from the 50s to the 80s. Correct. So you've got. The 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. And it's really a quick way to group the numbers that you have there. And all, all you need to do is look at this. If you're doing the number 70, the first digit's a 7, the second digit is a 0. You just put the 0 down there because you're going to combine it. You know, when you're talking about it, it's 7, 7 with the 0, which is 7. 83, 
Now you have to do try to do these in order. So if it's 83, you don't want to put it right here because it might be an 80 that you need to put there. So 83, you put it right about there. 84 would be right there. Uh, 77, somewhere back over here. 66, uh, 67, 53, 55, 64. And you do you do need to repeat them. In other words, if you got two 64s, you'd have to put two fours there. Don't put just one because you're looking at all of the data there. This would help you find, if you need to find the measures of central tendency. Did you get this down? Or am I just writing it down? I got it down. You got the chart down? Uh, yeah. With the numbers I put down? Actually, I put all of them down. Um, I just did. Mm -hmm. what, what is that? 64? What do we got? 69, 82, uh, 78. They're in the right order, Jack? Um, is that a yes or no? Uh, uh, 80, where was I at? What was that the first 80? Where's my first 80? 81, uh, 66, I have to put a second 6 there, 71, 75, 76, 80, and I can see over there, 78, number 8 there, another 78. 81, number one there, 83, 83. Usually I have a little more room than this. 82, 81, wow. 80, 85, 87, 87, did I miss a couple? Like, do you have three zeros? I do have three. You can't. All right. But this is a quick way to organize it, and now you can see that you have what numbers? 53, 55, 64, 66, 66, 67, 69, 70, 71, 75, 76, 77, 78, 78, 78, 80, 80, 80, 81, 81, 81, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, with what we're talking about next, which, which is the histogram. And that one you may not be quite as, I know we've done this before, I don't know how much we've done histograms before. Can I put this on? Let's shrink this. Don't worry, I can do this. Perfect. Now, what a histogram is, it's really nothing more than a glorified bar graph. But instead of each row or, yeah, I guess it's a column. Instead of each column standing just for a, a single thing, it actually stands for a range of numbers. Okay, a histogram has a range of numbers. In other words, a histogram is going to be this same exact thing, except spun 90 degrees counterclockwise, and it's going to be a bar graph that tells the frequency of those things. And you'll see once I make it here. So, for example, here's my histogram. Okay. What range of numbers do I have? Well, this is the range from 50 to 59. So your first column, you have a different color. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, here, so I'll do this color here. So this right here is going to be the numbers that go from 50 to 59. This little column here. Then it goes from 60 to 69. And then from 70 to 79. And then 80 to 89. Right. And then your histogram is just going to give the frequency of that. So let's do this. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What would be my color choice? Let's go there. So, how many numbers do I have? Oh, sorry. Let me label this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
How many numbers do I have that are in the, in the 50 to 59? Just two. So your little bar graph would just go off two there. How many numbers are in the 60s? One, two, three, four, five. So in the 60s, you go up to here. How many are in the 70s? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to run out of something here. And then how many are in the 80s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So notice it's a bar graph, but it's not just, you know, the histograms always, the columns always touch each other. Everything you want to know about histograms and more. Point to page 409 then, please. Look at what do they do? Uh, look at problem C there where it says use the stem and leaf plot to find the median mode and range of the low temperatures the last 15 days of April 2007. So right off the bat here, what would be how would you use that to find the median? Look at Spaniel. Median meaning the middle number. How can you use that stem leaf plot to find the middle number? First of all, how many numbers are we talking about? So the middle of 15 is number 15. the eighth number. If you pick the eighth number, you got seven on one side, seven on the other. So what is the eighth number as you counted them there, Lucas Spaniel? What would be the median? 60. 60. See how easy that was? Isn't that fun? Isn't that nice? What about the uh, mode? Which number appears the most? Again, that would be one where you just look for the number of digits there. Emma Kreis? There can be multiple ones. What would they be? Correct. And then the range, separated from the smallest to the biggest, would be Corinne Schellhammer? What did you say? I don't get 34. Did you subtract 71 minus 45? Huh? How do you get 34? How do you get 34? There are times when you might have to actually use your pencil. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What did you say? 26 is correct. Then look at letter D. Use the stem and leaf plot in problem C to find the relative frequency of 64. How would you find the frequency? Frequency means how many times it occurs. But relative to how many numbers there are. So you'd have to list it as a fraction. It's almost like percent or odds or whatever. Nikki Kala? Two or fifteen. Two or fifteen, which everybody knows is what percent? Two fifteenths is what percent? <laughs> two fifteenths is what percent? How many times is fifteen going to two? Four. Seven times. Perfect. <laughs> you get three is forty five. And three, yeah. So actually, what percent, if I asked you to give me that percent in fraction form, it would be what? <laughs> <laughs> just saying, just saying. 
the actual orders. Alright, here is your assignment. Did you choose to? Let's do. We have to do problem number three. I like the first problem. Let's do one. Let's do one.